Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. This is my follow-up video to The Arcade by Unquiet Hands and I spent about two weeks with this beautiful guy over here. A oh, beautiful guy. Yeah guys, I took a little while because first of all, I got a cut on my hand and no, it's not a knife cut. See, the skin's been torn off. Yeah, this is like three weeks old because I got myself a new chair and I kind of injured myself. I scratched this part on, I guess, a sharp edge when I was kind of just cleaning the chair because it's new, you know what I mean? Yeah, if that makes sense to you guys. But then it looked really bad on camera, so I didn't really take much videos during that period of time. And then I went overseas. I went to Montreal for about two weeks and then New York for a day and now I'm back. And during that entire time, I brought this guy with me as well as the Nautilus Nano. So here I am back at home well rested i've gotten over the jet lag i believe and at this point of time i want to give a quick shout out to eric and aaron for having me on the weekly spin i'll put links in the video description down below to the weekly spin youtube channel so that you guys can actually watch and i think i'm on episode i believe 10 i don't really know but it was really fun it's something different you guys get to see my face as i talk <laughs> you know what i mean it's something different for me oh and also a shout out to my buddy yong chang because he handed me these beads. Well, actually, he handed me a paracord bracelet. It was purple and blue, and I don't know it was a bit loose, so I decided to just dismantle it and then take out the beads, and these beads, I didn't even realize how high-end these beads are, so bro, thank you for these beads. Yeah, I, I know it's the wrong angle, but I'm trying to show you guys that this is, there we go. This is the Shirogov V Seasons beads. And these run up to about, I think, about $100 per bead. I mean, dude, you just gave me four. What in the world? So I have like 400 bucks on this. And yeah, I basically made my own paracord bracelet to fit everything here. But thank you for the beads. I mean, I like them a lot. I dig it so much. And it's all in the summer, the summer season. Now, I know you can't see under this one, but well, you guys saw this one there summer season so yes let's bring the focus back to this beautiful spinner here this is once again the arcade spinner by unquiet hands thank you to tom for sending this over my way so i could do a review and i've spent i guess enough time with this to tell you guys that i really really like it this literally is a bar version of the atriums it really is just like my first impressions and it is in my opinion a very well designed and very well executed translation from a try to a bar because most of the time, I believe spinner designers or spinner makers, when they design a spinner, usually it is from the bar version and then it converts over into a tri version by adding an arm. But to have a tri and then removing an arm would be a totally different thought process altogether. But I'd say that this is really, it lives up to the name, the arcade, which is the bar version of the atrium spinner. And you guys know I love the Atrium Spinner. Everyone who owns an Atrium Spinner really, really enjoys it. And there's no exception here. Now, one thing I'm going to mention is that this weighs in at 84 grams. But this weighs in at about 89 grams. So it's just a 5 gram difference, which to me is actually pretty awesome. And you guys know I like my spinners to weigh in at about 60 to 120 grams. And this just sits right in that sweet spot in the middle, 84 grams. And yes, I've already installed the brass spacer beads in there. First of all, uh, the ergonomics on this thing is really, really good. It's just like the atrium. The arcade feels great in hand. It's very comfortable. It's got no hot spots. It's very nicely rounded everywhere. The only main difference is that here, on the atrium, it's narrower than here on the arcade. It's slightly thicker that middle part over there. I'm glad that the waist is this way because you know, you feel that curve and everything. It's not too deep in. So it's actually a really comfortable spot. And the fact that this part kind of tapers outwards and then dips in again, it provides you with a good enough spot for you to push forward or pull back. So I'm saying guys, really the impressions from the first video till now have not changed. The one thing that I'm gonna share with you guys is that the trit slots are much deeper and slightly wider than on the atrium. Now on the atrium, these brass spacer beads do not have any kind of adhesive you know they're just friction fit in but for this one it actually initially sat really really deep in so what i had to do was i had to put a layer of noa glue first then i cured it so that i could i guess raise the base a little bit so that i could have the beads to kind of sit on top like that but then in order to actually adhere the beads into the slot i still had to put more noa glue so that is why you can actually see some of the glue around the spacer bead itself see that whereas on this you didn't have that so i believe that if you install trits this would actually glow better than what it would on the atrium and that's because you actually need a little bit of space for the light 
or the basically the glow to bounce off the side of the walls and then you have a nicer glow that's what i learned from speaking with people like vincent for example who is the trip master so all in all i really dig this i don't really have to go into details you guys already know what it is it comes with an extra set of bearings it comes with an extra button it comes with a removal tool it just really a good buy all around and this stainless steel version is going for 58 dollars over at the unquiet hands website there are a couple more different options one in a deep stone wash and that one is about 63 dollars and then also i believe that there were and i'm using it in past tense were because it's sold out now but there were some titanium ones on sale i don't know if there are going to be any other materials for this to be made available maybe tungsten because right now there are some tungsten ones for this but for the arcade i'm not so sure maybe in the future i don't really know but all in all i'm gonna tell you guys that this is really impressive and i really like it a lot it's getting me about three and a half minutes on a two-handed table spin i wish it could spin a little bit more but maybe it's because of the bearing that i'm using i'm not so sure but three and a half minutes on a two-handed table spin is not bad for a spinner designed this way because you know there isn't much weight being thrown out but clearly this design was mainly targeted at the ergonomics and the comfort and the fish stability and that really scores in my opinion and the last factor last but not least of course is the design it really depends on whether or not you like the design to me i think it's not bad all in all i actually prefer the design on the atrium because it looks i don't know just a little bit more interesting i suppose because of the way the light reflects off all the facets of it but this one not so much because it is a bar it's just two versus three but it really looks like a wonderful like almost direct translation of the atrium you know what i mean so really job well done there isn't really anything that i have bad to say about this guy you know what i mean i was so hard pressed to find a negative point to talk about on the atrium and now i can't find any on the arcade because it's such a great transition and the fact is it's a little bit cheaper than the atrium so for all of you bar lovers out there if you're okay with the screw cap bearing retention method then this really is a spinner that you should really consider putting into your collection it's a nice classic looking design it's got slots that even are slotless versions very pocketable nice weight at 84 grams and a quick size comparison for you of the arcade versus a stubby it is slightly longer than a stubby this way but in terms of the width it's about the same almost the same thickness wise it is thicker very slightly thicker than a stubby of course a stubby has its weights thrown out a bit more than the arcade and the arcade is a r188 screw cap retention style spinner so far in my opinion the arcade is a winner it's got a good price point, very good value for money. It's comfortable all the way around, comes with good extra accessories, an extra button, an extra bearing, and a bearing removal tool. For this price point, I mean, really, there aren't many spinners out there in the market that could stand up to this in terms of the quality and the value for money. So this is a really good bang for your buck. If you don't have a bar spinner and you're looking to get one, really consider this. And if you are a bar spinner enthusiast and you haven't got this yet, I would highly, highly recommend you getting one of the arcade spinners. It is really comfortable, very fidgetable. Either way, I never had any problems with it. Even on two-handed spins, I was just having fun sitting at Starbucks, just chilling out. And I realized that I reached for this quite a bit because of the heft. And lately, I've been playing a lot of PUBG Mobile. So in between rounds, I'd be playing with this. And then I would just PUBG Mobile again and then and then fidget with this guy. So really, I think it's a wonderfully well-made spinner. I really don't have much gripes with this. And I, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I tried. I really tried my best to look for something negative to say about this. All in all, I think this is really, really well done. And that is my opinion, guys. And really, that's it. Like, there isn't much else for me to say because, you know, the first impressions on this guy has carried on so far and it's been good. All this time, I've thoroughly enjoyed my experience with this guy so far. And this is... I don't know, just two thumbs up to Unquiet Hands and Tom. You're doing a good job with this, man. Really, really good. As always, everyone, links in the video description down below. And I hope that I provided enough information to help you decide whether or not the arcade spinner is a spinner for you. I highly recommend it. Like, this is one of the rare instances where I highly, highly recommend a bar spinner to all of you. I like it a lot. Slotless versions available as well in different materials. 
great price point. Uh, I know I'm repeating myself again, but really it's that value. And I'll also put links to the Unquiet Hands Facebook group as well, in case you guys are interested. Check them out. It's a really nice community, very warm people there. And once again, a shout out to Tom for sending this over to me. I really wanted to give you some negative feedback, but there really isn't. So I apologize, Tom. I think this is just really good. That That's it. That really is it. I think this is just really good. Not to take away from the design nuances of it, but in terms of everything else that you were going for, like fish stability, comfort, ergonomics, everything, just, it's just great, man. Great. Good job. And that's about it, everyone. Thank you so much for sharing in the size of my life. And I will catch you all in the next one. And until then, Gaga Boost.